everyone, it's Jen, and today I am doing a makeup tutorial. Yeah, that's happening. This is going to be a very different makeup tutorial than what I've done in the past. I'm going to attempt to make myself look not human. So the other day I went to an art museum and at that art museum there was a lot more pop art than I expected. Which is not a bad thing. I love comic book pop art. It's amazing. I love how it's done. I love the details. I love how it's so different from everything else you see. Like how the women usually have a lot of dots on their face and how it's a lot more eccentric and just awesome. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to kind of recreate a makeup look like that. And so I went home and I looked up on YouTube to see if any Anyone else had done this before and they have many times. I was a little disappointed because I thought that I was being original but I wasn't. I'm just gonna be basing my pop art look off of this picture right here and uh, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see how it goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to be taking my Ben Nye cream color professional palette and then selecting the color black I'm gonna start outlining around my face because since it is a drawing we want to look like we've been drawn and painted on. Next, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using the same black color and I'm actually going to overline them and make them look thicker and more noticeable to give them that cartoon effect. Next, I'm going to be outlining the natural crease between my eyebrows that show up on my face when I look sad because pop art like this is known for having sad, emotional, and heartbroken women. Then I'm going to just outline and accentuate the natural features on my face like my nose, my cheekbones, my chin, my cupid's bow, etc, etc. Next I'm going to outline my lips using the same black paint and then later on we're going to fill them in with a red lipstick. Next we're going to move on to eyes by drawing on fake lashes using a liquid liner. Now this is optional if you would prefer not to draw on your lashes then you could just go ahead and put on actual fake lashes but keep in mind that we do want to make it look like they've been drawn on to give it that animated effect. Now this next step is optional, but I'm just going to go ahead and apply some black paint into my crease of my eye so that it gives it more depth and makes it more realistic looking. Next I'm going to outline the natural creases in my denglete area, is that what it's called? I don't know. Such as my neck and on my clavicle and just my chest and neck area. Now is the time when you can take your red lipstick, and it doesn't have to be red, it can honestly be any color, and just fill them in as if you would putting on normal lipstick. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner once again and start creating teardrops under my eyes and then I'm going to fill them in using a blue face paint. All right, now we're done with the easy part. And now we gotta move on to the hardest and longest part, the dots. Now, personally, I don't like the typical red dots that you usually see in pop art because it kinda just looks like I have acne or a rash, and I don't like that. So, there are some artists that use white dots in comic book characters, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply white dots all over my face. Now, while I was practicing this look beforehand, I realized it was probably a lot easier and neater to use the back of the brush to apply the dots. So just go ahead and apply these dots all over the face and wherever you please. And then eventually I'm going to also add them onto my chest and neck area as well. And just like that, your look is finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more weekly videos. Follow me on all my social media down below. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. I gotta try and wash all this off. Great.